I want to get into a little cheat code right now, NFL Studio. Last week, I taught you guys a music theory cheat code in Ableton. Today, I want to show you how to do that same cheat code in NFL Studio. It's using two plugins and allowing you to create amazing melodies and chord progressions without knowing any music theory at all in NFL Studio. On my default template, I have two plugins. On the first track, I have Cthulhu, and on my second track, I have Scalar. I know a level of music theory. I'm not classically trained, but when I'm working on on the track, I like having everything just ready to go. Having the ability to come up with things that I wouldn't normally come up with. Slow to drum loop from Drums and Knock Volume 9. Okay, let's load that drum loop up. I'm gonna put that on a mixer track. Got our Omnisphere loaded. Let's get a preset. Okay, so let's start with that. I'm gonna go to Cthulhu, and I have a bunch of presets. I'm just gonna pick a random one. What you wanna do in FL to set it up, you have to go to this middle icon, and you wanna set your output port. So I have it set to two. So now in Omnisphere, you wanna go to the settings icon, click on this, an input port you want to set to two. So that means Cthulhu is going into Omnisphere. Highlight both of them. I don't like that preset, so I'm gonna pick a different preset. So what we're doing is we're chopping chords like we're chopping a sample. Cthulhu is dope because you can take MIDI and chop it like a sample. And that way you're making new and different melodies and you're rearranging chords. I like to approach music that way a lot of times. Let's record that. Okay, so we recorded that. Here's the thing. If you don't know music theory, the problem with this is you don't know anything about what you just played. You don't know what key you're in. You don't know anything. So I'm gonna show you how to achieve that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this MIDI because it's just single notes because we triggered single notes in Cthulhu. We're gonna right click this, click burn MIDI to current pattern. What that did was it took those single hits in Cthulhu and converted it into chords. So now I'm gonna take that MIDI cut it and paste it on the Omnisphere track. So that's what we got. Let's just quantize it. Oh. Just for this example, I forgot to set the tempo, but that's all right. So the next step after we got those chords, to load it into the plugin scaler. And what that's going to do is it's going to tell us what key we're in and we're going to be able to make all the white keys snap to whatever key we're in. So this is how you do it for people who don't know music theory. I'm going to copy this. I got scaler loaded. I copied that MIDI to the scaler track and now I'm going to hit start. What that did was it recorded those chords and now it tells us what key we're in. It says B flat Lydian. I'm gonna change it to D minor because it has the same notes in it. Once I select that scale, then I'm gonna click scale lock over here on the right and I'm gonna set it to white keys only. Now I'm gonna delete the MIDI in that track. I'm gonna go into this icon, this settings icon. I'm gonna note what the output port is set to. So we're set to two. Now I'm gonna load up Omnisphere and I'm gonna go here and set the input port to two. So what's gonna happen is Scalar is gonna send MIDI from it into whatever I tell it to send to. And I'm gonna turn this one on to input port two. Anything I play, it's not going to play the black keys, only the white keys, and it's going to all be in the key of D minor. For those of you who know no music theory at all, or if you just want to quickly figure out what key you're in and snap it to the white keys, that's how you can do it. We have our key set through Scalar, so now we're going to pick something else and play a melody.
Whatever note you play is gonna be in key with the original melody. I could even load an 808. Let's go to flex. Let's get an 808 going. And that's how you do it, y'all. Just to recap, Cthulhu, pick your chord. Start chopping it, set the output port. It could be one, two, whatever. And then to your plugin, you set your input port. So it's gonna send Cthulhu to that plugin. Pick your preset in Cthulhu so you can start chopping chords like samples. Play it, burn to MIDI, bring it to the channel you want. Then you bring that MIDI to Scalar, and when you hit play, hit start, it's gonna find what key it's in. Then you wanna set it to white keys, and then you can play any melody you want on the white keys and send that to another plugin. That's how to kill it if you don't know how to do music theory. I like that method personally. It's amazing for coming up with ideas. Decap.